Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have it. This is the all new 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe. This particular one is the high country. So this is gonna be your top luxury style trim on the Chevrolet Tahoe. But before we dive in, let's talk about what's going on here. Their full size SUV known as the Tahoe. This is the sister vehicle to the GMC Yukon. And this being the high country would kind of line it up nicely with the Denali. For the first time ever, we have an independent rear suspension outback that's gonna really free up room on the interior. The all new Tahoe, that full size SUV from Chevrolet is longer. It's got a longer wheelbase, almost five inches extra length to that wheelbase. And it's also a little bit wider. So what that means is you're gonna have more interior space in a Tahoe than you've ever had in your whole entire life. Now, with the Tahoe, one of the sore spots has been that interior. Many people wanting that redesign, that refresh. Well, guess what? Not only did Chevrolet work on that exterior, but they also nailed it on the interior. So let's go ahead. We're gonna dive into this high country, which is that top trim, and see really is this that value luxury. So you want luxury, obviously that's gonna come at a higher price, but is this the better way to go than say an Escalade or a Yukon Denali. So let's go ahead and dive in. Right off the bat, you'll see the new styling, that extra width. I like what they did with the front of the business. They kind of tied it in perfectly with the pickup truck, the full-size pickup truck known as the Chevy Silverado. We have all LED lighting. The way that the, the brushed aluminum grill extends into that housing looks really fresh. The daytime running lamp wrapping around, of course, all LED. You can see how our particular black Tahoe that bodywork integrates nicely. And then you're gonna have one of the largest air curtains I've ever seen on a vehicle. What's wonderful is that it's functional. And if you compare this to the Silverado, I think they, they nailed it just a little bit more with the cleanliness of the lines. It really has a nice cohesive look. Now, as we come across that massive grill area, you're gonna have your brushed aluminum. Everything is horizontal here. One of the fine touches on this high country is first of all, you have the name stamped nicely there, no stick on emblems or anything like that. But look at this, it's almost like a Zeus bronze color that they added just to give some extra definition. You got your blacked out bow tie, forward facing camera. And as we drop down, very, very nice how they took the brushed aluminum up here, brought just a little bit, a little bit of splattering along the bottom. My one question is, is though, why is everything non-functional? So you have non-functional vent. This is all non-functional here. So that's definitely gonna be a zonk, but I think we'd all agree, compared to the previous generation, they really nailed, nailed it perfect, right? They, they knocked the ball out of the park with the styling on the front end. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you can see how it kind of just has a nice crease and folds down into the top of the grill. You have some interesting body lines. So we have that crease that goes all the way towards the eight pillars. We have a raised section in the center here, and then a nice little peak. I'm telling you, I like what they did with the new Tahoe. Now, when we come around the bend, you go high country, Look at what we're getting. We're getting some nice gloss black wheels. Love the design of it. This is a 22 inch wheel, 275 on the width, meaty 50 series sidewall. Gonna give you a nice ride down the road, but I also think it works perfect with our high country. Going down the side, you got a blacked out high country badge. I think that's adding to the touches on this particular one. Instead of going just a lot of shiny bits, having the black on black, I think just raises the level of the luxury feel of this. Getting it closer to that Escalade for sure. You have your high country standard running boards here. Obviously they just are solid. They do not retract. That would have been a nice touch to have those retracting running boards. A Little bit of shiny chrome along the bottom and they brought the brushed aluminum onto the door handles and around the lower portion of the window here. And I think that's great because if you notice, Having it gloss black up here gives it a nice style. I mean, look at this. It's almost like a hockey stick style as we get behind the rear passenger door here. Keep working our way back. The way they integrated the rear quarter window, super clean, nice and large. And if you notice, not having any of that chrome trim almost makes it disappear like there's no window. It's like a magic trick. Come around the back, you got your low roof spoiler with the cleared out lens on your LED taillight. Just a little bit of that brushed aluminum, tying it into the front with all blacked out badging on our high country. We're gonna drop down and look what we have. That quad tip exhaust, it's staggered. 
It's got a nice round, almost oval shape to it. And of course, we got our full towing capability underneath this lower portion of the rear bumper. But the taillights look really clean. LED uh, taillights, just like headlights up front. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering our high country. All right, guys, we got the massive hood open on our high country. And what engine do we have? We have the top dog. That's a 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8. So what that equates to is 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. It's all mated to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Our high country with that engine and transmission can do zero to 60 in about 5.1 seconds. And you're looking at a weight of around 6,000 250 pounds. Now, what's awesome is, is that you do have that dynamic engine management system where it will shut down cylinders. So your MPGs, you're looking around 15 in the city, 24 on the highway, but why don't we go ahead? We got that nice custom exhaust. Why don't we fire it up and hear what this 6.2 liter V8 sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Chevrolet Tahoe High Country. I know you're at that point where you're like, Joe, I've been waiting for this review. I want a new large SUV. I don't want to go Escalade. I don't want a GMC. How much is this High Country? The way that it's optioned with the wheels, with the blackout package and everything else, you're looking at MSRP right around $73,000. Let's see what you get for the money. To the all new door panel. So you have that beautiful soft touch material across the top. I love the brown stitching. That contrast stitching is wonderful. The wood trim, a little bit of silver here and there. Armrest is nicely padded. You got two door pockets. So you have a smaller pocket for at least six Twinkies you could fit in there. And then you could put a couple Jimmy John's foot long subs and a bottle of Mr. Pib to wash it all down. This has the optional 10 speaker Bose sound system. Dig in the shape of the speaker cover there and the way they took the nice brushed aluminum trim into the speaker cover. Now, when we get to the dash, nice far forward. You got your stitching, you got your wood trim, soft touch material. Let's look in the glove box, what's in there? Lots of space. So you literally could take two boxes of Hostess cupcakes and put them in there. That's how large that um, glove box is. Close it up, we come to the all new. So this is all new for 2021. You got your 10.2 inch, infotainment system screen, navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Obviously, it's a touchscreen. Obviously, very easy to use, just like um, the previous generation. But boy, oh boy, look how good it looks. You have great cameras out the front, out the back. We can look at, look at 22-inch wheels. Check out those wheels. Yeah. We got your trailer hitch. Any area that you want to look at on this thing is really, really simple. And then you just hit home and you're right back to where you started. So going to your climate controls, heated seats, ventilated seats, of course, dual climate, easy to uh, adjust very simply. Let's throw it into reverse. I know Victor likes to go into reverse sometimes. Look at that, clear as day with trajectory. Really digging that. Put it back in a park. We hit home, we drop down. So this is gonna be your push pull for the 10 speed automatic. What do I mean by that? Pull to go into drive, pull to go into reverse, push to go into neutral, push to go into park. Fairly clean the way that they have it integrated into the infotainment system area. You got your start stop button all the way over here. I'm gonna have Victor follow my finger. Look at how they put the nice material here on the high country. Keep following, keep following. Look what they did. Now, because you have transmission controls over here, what do they give us over here? You actually have a very interesting little door. Open that up, it's felt lined. So if you have a couple Rolexes, you could just drop your Rolexes right into that door and close it up, and then nobody's the wiser. And I accidentally hit that, so we'll go back. Drop down, you got your radio controls. Look at the Zeus Brown. They took the bronze from outside, they brought it to the interior with the stitch work. You got your dual climate controls, ventilated seats, heated seats, USB, USB-C, and a 12 volt. You got your wireless charging. My only zonk with this area is I wish there was a nice high country lid. Give me some of that wood trim, and have a nice closing lid there. Two cup holders, look look at this. Look at the leather. You got little pockets on the side. I'll get that out of the way. You got your pockets on the side for an emergency Snickers, so you're not hangry. Two cup holders. There's our Chevrolet T2 
key fob, I'll let it shine like a diamond. Flip it over, of course you're gonna have remote start. You're able to open up the back hatch nicely. Put that down, soft. You put your cell phone here so it doesn't slide when you jam on the brakes. Open it up, what do we got? We got a piece of paper. No, we got this part. Now this is a party tray. Doritos, and then maybe some jelly beans and some peanut M&Ms. And then you can take it with you. And then you can wash it out and put it back. USB-C, USB, and enough room for a football. So we're getting ready for football season. Why leave the football at home? Drive around with the football in your center console, and then maybe you could beam somebody in the head with it. Uh, hopefully somebody that you know, maybe in the neighborhood, a friend, roll down the window and just get them right in the back of the head. But look at the back of the head here, the headrest. High country embroidery. Love the nice bronze color, the stitch work. Even the way the bronze shows through on the perforated leather, ventilated, heated, and of course, full power assist for the passenger and the driver. The only thing I'm, I'm missing here, no sunroof. But you've got plenty of headroom. And then here, you want to see Victor? There's Victor. Oh, hey, Victor. There goes Victor. Bye-bye. Look at that. So we have that digital rear view camera. Clear. I love the way GM does that. You make it disappear. One, two, three. Now I can look at me. Nice. Come on over to the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of this 2021 High Country. All right, guys, business time. Now, what's nice is you got that sob material, and then you're going to have your memory seat settings, two seat settings for the Tahoe. I love the High Country uh, sill plate that they give you. Of course, we got the all-weather Chevrolet branded uh, floor mats in here. Here's your seat controls. Easy to get to. Give me some of that lower lumbar. Yeah, give it to me. Nice. Steering wheel. Love the thickness. You got some more of that Zeus bronze color here, really working well. I wish that they would, if you really want to like go all out, they should have blacked out the Chevrolet bow tie in here since we have the blackout package on the outside. But nice, easy thumb controls. And then the dash, no, it's not full digital. It's almost there. So you have over seven inches of digital display, but you have an analog tech, analog speedometer. But the great news is you're going to get all the wonderful readouts. And we have a massive head-up display in our system, especially looking at the head-up display, seeing the wonderful soft materials. But why don't we get to that mid-row and see how this changed Tahoe is going to make your passengers very happy. All right, guys, mid-row time now. Obviously, these seats are going to adjust, and it's real simple. You have one lever to go forward and backward and one lever to recline. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift that up, push that back just to show you how much room you have. I did not move the driver's seat. The seat can go up. You have nice large pockets, leather all the way around with our pockets right there. You could put a mirror, you could put a back scratcher, you could put even a tennis racket. Isn't it tennis season? I think it is, but you could put a, a, a tennis racket back there. Nice little command center. So you have your two cup holders. The thing is, I wish they would have took some of the nice material and brought it here because you could even see the plastic manufacturing seam there. That to me is a zonk, but you do have your two uh, AC controls for your blower and your temp. You got heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That is a zonk in the high country. We should have ventilated seats. USB-Cs though, and a home power source. I'll go ahead and close the door. Somebody didn't do that. Over here on my side, the great news is they give you a nice size armrest. So thank you Chevrolet for doing that. I got my own pocket, lots of headroom. You have the AC vents up in the ceiling. And then let me show you that sliding action. So it slides nice, up oh, the seats fold down. So let me go ahead and uh, there we go. All right, so you can see how much room you have for the mid-row passenger. Let's get that back seat folded up and I wanna showcase what an independent rear suspension is gonna do for your passenger's leg room in the third row. All right guys, time to get into the third row. Remember, underneath here we have that multi-link rear suspension. We hit the button, seat folds down out of the way, hit it again. Look at that, voila, tons of space. I like the way they put the plastic down there on the lower portion so your kids aren't gonna rip up or your passengers aren't gonna rip up the carpet, but let's go ahead and climb on in. I'm gonna use the running board. Now we're talking, look at this. So I'm gonna hide all the way over here so you can see how much room we have behind the seat. Look at how high my knees are. On a previous generation, my knees would be up here in my mouth. But in here, we have much more leg room. You're gonna have USB-Cs. I got a nice little tray here for some Skittles and a cup holder. Of course, we have rear passenger AC vents, and that's what's gonna make it really, really nice. They even give you some padding 
for your passenger arm back here. So that's very thoughtful. Thank you, Chevrolet, for thinking about everybody in the new Tahoe, but very, very impressed on this rear passenger area. Let's get to the cargo area because your mind is about to be blown. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Real simple, you hit the button, nice electric assist. It's at a good speed. Now with the reworked dimensions of the Tahoe, you actually have over 25 cubic feet of space with the seats up. So think about if you have kids and you have strollers, if you're taking them to football practice, hockey practice, soccer practice. I guess if you're going to swimming practice, you really don't have to worry about carrying too much, but plenty of space back here. Plus, look at this, storage underneath. Think about it, family road trip, line up all of the snacks. You could have your Twinkie section, your, your hostess cupcakes, maybe even some little Debbie oatmeal cream filled uh, cookies on the side over here. Maybe some moon pies. Fold that down. If you want to see the seats in action, it's real simple, all electric. But speaking of electric, we do have a home power source back here. Think about tailgating, think about camping, think about going to that swimming practice. I don't know what you'd use it for, but just think. Seats fold down nice, look at that. Actually fairly fast for electric. And then you want the mid road down? Let's see if it goes. Yeah, is this gonna be perfect? Yeah, 122 cubic feet of space. You don't understand when we're doing these reviews, depending on how the seats are positioned, they may not fold down. So we did this in one take like we always do, but if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this Tahoe high country for a spin. All right guys, we're leaving Dimmit Chevrolet. We're in the 2021 high country. I'm telling you right now, as soon as you fire this vehicle up, it's just a really wonderful experience to see all the changes that they have made to really hone it in and, and, and make it what the Tahoe should always have been ever since they started selling the Tahoe. But the 10.2 inch infotainment system screen, great height, it's not too high. So if you're anti iPad style screens, I think this one you might like, um, especially with the size of it, the ease of use. Instrumentation is laid out perfectly. Looking out the back window, it's massive. So you got great visibility, plus you have all the safety features that are gonna keep you safe. Um, I just, I'm shocked that at this price point, there's no sunroof, let alone, I, I think there should be a panoramic sunroof. Yeah, there should be a sta standard sunroof, but this should have a panoramic sunroof, which uh, I'm sure it's an option, but at $73,000, I think that it, uh, it should be on our high country here, but we got the nicer wheels, so there you go. It's always an opportunity cost, I guess, but handling is nice. I like the steering feel. I like the size of the steering wheel. And I think that's the, the nice thing is that if you're coming from a previous generation Tahoe, you're gonna notice some things that are gonna make you say, oh, I like this. This reminds me of my, my old Tahoe, but then they, they raise the bar to another level, which is great. But the ride quality is super smooth. We're gonna get on the highway here. Let me get on throttle. 6.2 liter. Get you up to speed very, very quickly. And once you're at speed, I'm telling you, it cruises nicely. The suspension travel is wonderful. And where you're really gonna reap the benefits of the ride quality with the multi-link is when the road gets torn up. I think that's gonna help with the overall ride quality as uh, as you're going down the road, but very, very smooth. I mean, there's a bit of wind noise, but I'm gonna say that's probably from the massive side mirrors. I mean, the mirrors are, they, they're aesthetically pleasing, but they're massive. So there is some wind noise coming off those mirrors, but other than that, I mean, we do have 22 inch wheels. So sometimes that increases, increases your road noise and whatnot, but still overall, very, very quiet. I like the view over the hood. And I think your passengers are gonna are really gonna be the winners because they just have a ton more room as you work your way all the way to the third row. Brakes feel good. I like the way the head-up display it tells me my speed, tells me what the speed limit is. It's also showing me uh, uh, some of my safety features that I could turn on and off very easily. But let's see how it handles into this left-hand U-turn here. Look at this, nice. Body roll is very minimal. Feel planted. On throttle. So look at that. I mean, it will get you going very, very quickly for a full-size 
SUV. Let me show you that acceleration again from a slow roll here on throttle. Great V8 sound, plenty of low down torque. You got that linear power delivery and it really just has a wonderful ride to it. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to Dimmit Chevrolet and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, been another great day here at Dimmit Chevrolet. Definitely gotta thank Raheel and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2021 Tahoe High Country. Chevrolet really has knocked the ball out of the park. I think that they kind of touched on a lot of different things that were making people not the happiest with the previous generations. They're giving you more, and there's a plethora of different trims like this High Country that you could choose from and really put it up against some of the other brands that are in this segment. But if you wanna keep seeing full-size seven passenger, three row SUVs on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Gotta give it to Crown Vic. You know what? He tore his hat today. He's a little down, feeling down, but you know what? I'm gonna go buy him a, a smoothie. He really wants a smoothie, maybe a little mango, some peach mango or something, but we'll get that for you, Vic. And just like always guys, I'll see you on the next ride.